The music industry, whether it's the artists like an Eddie Van Halen or a Jimmy Page, who will, if you ask them any question, it always goes back to less. The music industry understands that Les is an iconic, historic individual who's left his mark, and every generation stands on his shoulders, and every future generation will be standing on his shoulders. G'day, and we are live. Welcome, Litchfield Jazz Camp. It's great to be here in the backyard, and uh, I'm really looking forward to playing for you this evening. We want to thank Vita Muir and Don Braden and Albert Rivera for the invitation tonight to play. And uh, we have on the drums, Ian Carroll. And on the guitar tonight, we have Les Paul Bolenbeck. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's Les Paul Bollen. Sorry, it's Paul Bollenbeck. But we are tra playing tribute tonight to the great Les Paul, and we want to thank the Les Paul Foundation for the opportunity to do this, and thank you for sponsoring. And we're going to start with a song that was written by Harold Allen from the musical Let's Fall in Love. One, two, and you know what to do. I have a feeling, it's a feeling I'm concealing, don't know why. It's just a mental, incidental, sentimental alibi. But I adore you, so strong for you. Why keep on stalling? I am falling, love is calling, why be shy? Let's fall in love. Why shouldn't we fall in love? Our hearts are made of it, let's take a chance. Why be afraid of it? Let's close our eyes, make our own paradise. Little we know of it, still we can try to make a go of it. We might have been meant for each other to be. Or not to be, let our hearts discover Let's fall in love, why shouldn't we fall in love? Now is the time for it, while we are young Let's fall in love
Tonight feels very special for a couple of reasons, actually. It's my first gig, real gig, since March 12th. I think, yeah, March 13th, I came back from Europe, and this is the first gig back, and it feels so good to play with great musicians. And it's also, it's just really fun. Uh, it's also the first time that we are playing together as a trio, so that also feels really special. This uh, next song reminds me of Les for a few reasons. When I first joined the trio, I was just hired to play the bass. And one night I was playing a bass solo on stage and Les stopped me in the middle of the bass solo and says, is that all you're gonna do? Just play the bass? I said, well, that's all I was hired to do, Les. And he said, do you, uh, do you tap dance? Do you sing? Do you do anything else? And I said, well, yeah, I mean, I sing at home, but everybody sings at home, right? And he says, well, let's hear it. So I sang this next song for him. And as I was leaving the stage, he tapped me on the shoulder and said, leave that in. So to keep my gig with Les Paul, I had to sing every Monday night. And here's a song that I did for him. Someday he'll come along, the man I love He'll be big and strong, the man I love And when he comes my way, I'll do my best To make, make him stay He'll look at me and smile, I'll understand Then in a little while, he'll take my hand And though it seems absurd, I know we both won't say a word Maybe I will meet him Sunday Maybe Monday, maybe not But I'm sure to meet him one day Maybe Tuesday Will be my, my good news day We'll build a little home Just meant for two from which I'll never, never roam Who would, would you? So we'll also bow I'm searching for the man Searching for the man I love the mighty little, mighty little lady
sure to meet him one day, maybe Tuesday will be my, my goodness day. We'll build a little home just meant for two, from which I'll never, never roam. Who would, would you? So a little sub I'm searching for the man, man I love, searching for the man. Bollenberg, Ian Carroll, I'm in good company. They've been teaching now for, uh, this is the second week of teaching for the Litchfield Jazz Camp. All virtual. We are in a virtual world and uh, they're having a good time, I know for sure. All right, this song uh, is a special one. Once I get some, uh, some water here. Les got to collabor collaborate with uh, the biggest stars in Hollywood and one of those stars was Bing Crosby. They had a big hit on this next song. And Les used to tell a story actually about this song. When they got to the studio, Bing and Les, to record the song, they went inside, had a look around and Bing said to Les, why don't you look over the music while I just go outside and meet some friends and stuff. And, and Les said, look, I don't read music. Bing didn't, Bing didn't read music and Les says, well, I, I don't read music either. There was a guy though who was changing the light bulb on the in the studio. He was on the ladder and he said, well, I play a bit of piano and I can read music. And Les said, well, what are you doing up there? Come and help us out. So he taught them the song and then Bing and Les went and recorded it straight away and of course it was a number one hit for both of them. So I don't know if it's a true story, but that's the way Les told the story. And it sounded convincing at the time, so I thought I'd tell a little story. In the role of Les Paul, Paul is going to play the melody. <laughs> oh, one, a two. Oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> my dear since I can't remember when it's been a long long time you'll never know how many dreams I've dreamed about you just how empty they all seem without you so kiss me once then kiss me twice kiss me once again it's been a long, long time. It's been a long, long time. Such a long, long time. Yeah, Paul, that is nice. 
Nice to hear that melody again. All right, we got to show off. We've got such great musicians here, so we've got to show them off on a Sonny Rollins tune called Sunny Moon for Two. Uh, B flat, right? Key B flat. much fun I, I gotta have you guys over <laughs> this is fantastic to play again it feels so wonderful I had a lightning bug was sitting right oh, here on a, the pickup the whole time a lightning bug oh my goodness yeah yeah then he yeah. took off and was buzzing around my arm and oh. like, hey, man. the beauty of the outdoors yeah. that's what this is 
Right after a sip, we're gonna swing a Bob Dylan song for you. Shine like a spoon. We're gonna let it, baby. You won't regret it. Kick your shoes off. Do not fear. No, no. Just bring that bottle. Bring it over here. I'll be your baby tonight. Bring that bottle. Bring it over here. I'll be your baby tonight. Never fear, just come over here. Oh my baby, my baby, my baby tonight. To, we're going to continue with a, um, a song that was a big hit for Les Paul and Mary Ford. Mary Ford was Les's wife. They had a lot of hits together like Via Con Dios and World is Waiting for the Sunrise, How High the Moon, of course. Mary was a great guitar player and she was also a wonderful singer. And she really helped Les with the sound on sound uh, technologies that he invented. He invented multi-track recording and Mary was very helpful in um, 
in Les's inventions. She came up with close mic recordings. She was one of the first singers to do that. And one of the very first singers to lay tracks on top of each other, which became known, of course, as multi-track recording. So we're very grateful for Mary Ford for being the pioneer that she really was in music. We're going to do one of the lesser-known songs, lesser-known ballads of Mary Ford's for you right now. so pretty there. Whew. It's getting hot out here. <laughs> oh. But there's one place where it isn't hot and that's, uh, well, not right now anyway, in the, in the Sydney area. And so I'm going to say 
G'day to me mum and dad, because they're watching from Newcastle, Australia, where it's the middle of winter. So they're probably not outside right now, and it's, they're very futuristic down under. It's 10, almost 10 a.m. in the morning of Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do a song now, and uh, it's from uh, Rogers and Hart, from the musical Babes in Arms. Does anyone know what the song is? Just a little louder. Yes, you are correct, gentlemen. That is right. It is where or when. <laughs> Straight in. A one, two, three, four, one. It seems we stood and told like this before. We looked at each other in the same way then. But I can't remember where or when. The clothes you're wearing are the clothes you wore. That smile, you are smiling, you were smiling then. But I can remember where or when, where or when Some things that happened for the first time Seem to be happening again And so it seems we have met before And left before not before, but who knows where or when?
Just like we rehearsed it. <laughs> this song needs no introduction. It's uh, started listening to Les play it the other day, and I thought, wow, he really plays this melody so beautifully. Oh, could you give me a four bar, lovely Les Paulish introduction? <laughs> what Great melodies. These are really nice songs. Actually, lovely to revisit them. Thank you, Les. Okay, uh, two things. Litchfield Jazz Festival is happening this weekend, Saturday, July 25th, virtually. Go to Litchfield Jazz Festival Facebook page, and there's great music from 1 p.m. to 7, I believe. And uh, so I'll be there, I'll be checking it out. Congratulations to Vita Muir for 25 years keeping jazz alive in Connecticut. Hard working and uh, we really appreciate all the hard work you do to keep jazz going, keep it live. Uh, a lot of people don't know how good Les played the blues, but Les could really play the blues. 
And um, towards the end of his life, he, he developed some bad arthritis in the fingers. But when it came to the blues, he didn't need the fast chops to do that. And, the, and what he played was so delicious. So I've picked a blues. It's actually the B-side to Peggy Lee's Fever. It's called You Don't Know. You Don't Know. A one, a two, a three, a four. No, you can't know how I 
With other musicians, it, it's great. It's a good <laughs> thing. I like this. <laughs> Funny how that is. Woo. I'd like to do a medley of two songs, the first of which is a tribute to Les Paul and his amazing inventions. He did change the music for all of us, and we are very grateful that he was not only a musician and arranger, a player, but he was an incredible inventor, always thinking, always making things happen. So, and then we're going to uh, follow that song with one of Les's big hits with Mary Ford. Fairy tales can come true for a legend like you if you're young at heart. For it's better by far, named on every guitar, to be young at heart. You can play the guitar. Be a big mega star. Be admired from afar. Play all night in a bar. And life gets more exciting with each passing day. Cause Les would get a new pacemaker and he's on his way. Don't you know that it's worth every treasure on earth to be young? at heart with a quick comic flair les brought smiles everywhere cause he was young at heart if you ever look back you will see multi-track at the point he arrived to make music alive and here is the best part, Les was a fresh start. Take a look, he's first among the young at heart. Va 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 oh yeah. One, two, oh one, two, three, four. <laughs> Faint the tune, somewhere there's heaven, how high the moon, there is no moon above where love is far away too, till it comes true, you love me as I love you, somewhere there's music, it's where you are, somewhere there's heaven, how near, how far, the darkest night would shine if you would come to me soon, to you will I still my heart high the moon.
One more song for you this evening. It's been so much fun. I can't tell you how much fun I have had playing with these incredible musicians. One more time, Paul Bollenbeck. I can hear you. I can hear you clapping for Paul Bollenbeck. Just a magnificent musician. So enjoyable to play with Paul. And first time playing together, besides maybe one tune years ago at Litchfield, but first time playing with Ian Carroll. What a master drummer, Ian Carroll. So this, uh, I. I just I want to do this every night now. <laughs> so thank you again to the Les Paul Foundation, lespaulfoundation.org. And you can learn a lot more about Les and all his inventions and music and how he changed music for everybody. And thank you to the Les Paul Foundation for your sponsorship. Thank you, Vita Muru, Don Braden, Albert Rivera again. Uh, thank you for asking me. It's just, uh, it's it's made my day. It's just a really wonderful feeling to be playing with good players again. So enjoy the Litchfield Jazz Festival this weekend on the Litchfield Jazz Festival Facebook page, 1 p.m. till 7, and we'll see you hopefully in person soon. Stay safe, and we'll get through this with music, with great music. Here's a Johnny Nash song from 1972. A one, two, a one, two, three, a...
by blue sky Look straight ahead Nothing by blue sky Thanks, Littlefield Jazz Camp. We'll see you again soon.